Alex Lawrence Barkley here at Autosense Detroit. I'm here with Omar from uh, Innovis Technologies. You've come over from Israel. It's quite a long flight. Yeah, but uh, you know, you, this is the city to be in when you want to talk about autonomous cars. So it's worthwhile to make the effort. It's fun to be here. It's great to have you here. You've got a solid state LiDAR unit here. Tell me about what, what you're doing that's different from other people. Oh, actually, we do a lot of uh, things very different. I mean, we. We actually developed the whole system from the ground up. We I think we're designing any part of the system. If you want to get to the very high performance at low cost, you really need to have the control of any unique parts and design it specifically for the application. So the the company Innovis, we we actually you know we have very well, a lot of teams in the company that you know each team is developing different parts of the system. If it's the optics, if it's the detector, the MEMS. You know, the, the ASIC, the signal processing, machine vision, computer vision, it's really a very big, like, a uh, very big group of people that work in a multidisciplinary system. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. But the future really is solid state. Can you tell us why that is? Yeah, sure. I mean, it, you know, for, for, the, for this time, the R&D teams, they need something. You know, they need to start to work with something that can give them uh, you know, data that they can work with so, so they can develop their algorithms, the machine learning and stuff. But eventually, you want something that you can really, uh, you know, place in a car. It has to be super reliable for many years. It has to be small and low cost. So at, at that time, you, you need, everybody's waiting for something that's disruptive as this to come to really allow mass production. And, and this is what we're doing. This is your target LiDAR unit. So this is the demonstration unit. At the end, it will be embedded anywhere in the car, if it's in the grill or behind the windshield or, you know, on the side. So, you know, the, there won't be really a box like this. It will be embedded somewhere. Uh, but and, and the interface will be different in each project. And, you know, also the, the interface is, is different. I mean, we, we provide the raw data. We also provide the computer vision, like the object list. So any customer has a, a bit different feature list. So it, it will become like, uh, you know, uh, customized per, per project. So you've got a baseline new uh, approach to the technology, but you're, you've got the flexibility in that to, uh, to build into any other system. Yeah, sure. I mean, not only for the size and the, you know, the structure, it's also about the performance. I mean, we can play with the, you know, with performance very easily. I mean, having a wider field of view, a longer range, lower effectivity, really depends on the other many parameters, frame rate, resolution. This is very easy to play with. Great, Omar, thank you very much for your time and uh, signing off and see you next time. Thank you very much.